here's some of the here's some of the shed bulls that I I've been tracking. Cannot find their antlers in this country whatsoever. I don't know if they're new to the area. If they were up here when I was tracking them, but uh, here they are. So here's a little update from where we left off on episode one. Uh, the bull's antlers that we were looking for ended up getting picked up by somebody else. I don't know how or why this guy came up the ridge. He was following a lot of my boot tracks around and cross gridding my uh, lines that I did. And he was parked right next to my truck. And when I got to a vantage point, I saw him carrying a matching set out to his truck. So, looks like we're not going to get any footage of that set, so here's the following day. Whew. Welcome back everybody. Ah, I'm exhausted. Believe it or not, this is day two. I'm hiking, following some tracks and whatever. And uh, I went through some rough, rough country. I'm officially 10 miles away from my truck right now. And I just found my first antler. <laughs> it's a ragger. Looks like last year's ragger. I'm just now getting into some good sign here. They are so deep this year. There wasn't much sign at all for the first five miles, hardly at all. Uh, and then for the second five miles, there was sporadic sign, but it seemed like uh, uh, just like two bachelor groups of bulls that were only two in one group, three in the other group. So not even, you know, not even more than five bulls altogether for those next five miles. I kept crossing their tracks. I followed them a little bit here and there, but nothing much. They went through some deep ass snow too. Oh my God. Oh, waist deep snow on me. Every time I fell through, it was just, oh, horrible. Um, all right, so that's long enough though. Let's show you the guys this little antler that I just found right down here. Without giving too much away. <laughs> Cause uh, it doesn't really matter since I'm not having much luck anyways, you guys ain't gonna wanna come in here. But wow. <sighs> I probably lost a liter of water through snot alone. The cold, cold wind is just killing today. I mean, if you can see the sky behind me there, it's all grayish because the wind is blowing the snow off of these mountaintops and it's literally making clouds from the snow that it's blowing off. And those clouds are going to turn into a snowstorm tonight. So yeah, crazy stuff today. But uh, let me show you guys exactly the little tiny hole that I had to spot this little tiny antler through. So, can you see it? I got my gloves on, darn it. You can see it right there in the middle of the screen, pretty much. A little bit high. All right, let's go walk up to that thing. Well, if there's a hard white in here, then uh, there should be some more in here. Because uh, I know this is where they've been hanging out a lot for the last few years. Oh, look at that. It's a little match set. And a little ragger matching set. Almost looks like deer antlers are so small. Wow, what a short little fella. Hard white from last year. Well, the fact that they're uh, little raghorns from last year, it makes me think twice about the fact if uh, weather 
people are coming back here or not because they just probably dropped after everybody came back here is all. Cool little cool little picture setup though. Wow, look at this. That is a cool little setup. Almost touching each other right on both sides of this log. Well, if I was going to find a little one, I'm glad it was a set. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Almost no need for any ATLs, really. You know how close they are together, geez. Insane. For a little rag bull to be that close together, wow. He held on to both of his antlers until the last minute, basically. <laughs> First one I spotted right here. Wow, got a little bit of weight to them actually. Not bad. Yeah, both of them do. That'll do. Oh. Yep, that'll do right there. <sighs> Ten miles in, guys. Holy crud. <laughs> See those bases, huh? Yee-hee! Oh man, it's gonna snow on me. It was clear blue skies. All day long. My way back is going to be soaking wet. 10 miles. And I'm still going deeper, guys. I'm going another 2 miles if I can. Because, uh, to be honest, I'm not real worried because the way out of here is mostly all downhill. <laughs> so I've just been going up and up and up for this whole 10 miles. So I'm not really too worried about the, my trip back, if, even if it's in the dark. I don't have a flashlight with me or nothing like that, but uh, I don't care. I'll be able to follow a couple ridge lines back, no problem. So yeah. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you what though, I'm so far back right now that uh, whew, if I fell off a cliff and died, people wouldn't find me for probably a couple years. <laughs> Get a little color on this side still. All right, guys, that's enough filming. I'm gonna save some battery life. Uh, All right, 11 and a half miles in. I don't see anything out there. I see one chalky antler out there, but that's another mile and a half away. <laughs> Not worth it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start zipping backwards, side hill on a couple of these ridges on the way back, and see if we can't find something new. So until the next one, we have outdoors. Right, guys tell me if you think this is an actual hanger or that somebody hung it there because it looks chalky but uh, it's a good enough antler to be bringing out I don't know why somebody would hang it all the way back here so I'll show you right where it is
That's it right there. Right in the middle of the screen. It's hanging. I'm going to go down and get it. I don't care that it looks chalky. Somebody put it there. I don't know, why would they put it there instead of up here in the easy walking area? Look at that thing. Someone hung that there? I kind of think so. But then again, with these sticks sticking out right here, I mean, who's going to reach in that far just to hang that thing? I guess we'll grab it. Yeah, I've got somebody hung it there. It's just weird that they would reach all the way in there to hang it. Hey, it's a little chalker, dude. That's good dog chew right there. Coyotes moving down there. I don't know if you can see them or not. One's moving right now. There's two of them. They're good sized coyotes. Right in the middle of the screen. Alright guys. Till the next one. You know what I say. Get happy. Outdoors. <laughs>